Crafty Friends, it's August 2022. Time once again for the Karen Burneson Designer Challenge. This month, Karen has challenged us with labels. I used three for this card, two on the outside and one on the inside, all from the Catherine label pop-up. I needed a congratulatory card, so I went with gnomes because why not? They're cute. This one says you did it on the outside and on the inside, it has congratulate your selfie, which I think is adorable. And it's got all kinds of little pictures of gnomes. He's done his all his little self with his selfie sticks. So I had a few challenges with this card and I wanted to share those little problem solving techniques with you. So let's get started. I've already completed the front of this card to save some time on the video. All of the labels that I used for this challenge are from the Catherine label pop-up. I also put on the front, You Did It, from Word Set 8. I've also completed the mechanism on the inside of the card, which is from the Heart Collage pop-up. And I did that because I've linked Karen's instruction video below for this, so uh, she explains it way better than I do, so I didn't want to spend the time doing that. But as you can see, it's already there. It's ready to go. I've got my panels. I've got my center section. So for this card, since it is small and I wanted to put a lot of extra things on it, I laid the card out flat and pressed it down flat in the center. And the reason that I did that is because I want to add some bigger things to it. And I want to make sure that it stays lined up. I've already cut out some of my elements for my card. So since this is a selfie card, I took the little camera from the long rectangle accordion and I have cut it off to resemble a cell phone because I want it to look like a cell phone and then I'm going to put it on this little selfie stick with this little cute little guy and I've left it intentionally longer than I need it but I want to wait and see how he works in the card before I cut that off. I also have already processed his little pictures. So here's four little selfie pictures. Here's one of him looking straight at the camera. Here's one up, hanging upside down. This one, he's peering out from the corner. And this is the profile. I thought they were all really cute and I had a lot of fun making these. Okay, for my center label, what I did is I used the Catherine label again. I stamped this particular label because it's I have this little cute stamp set that's all about selfies and this one says congratulate your selfie you know I thought that was pretty doggone cute so it was perfect for this card so what I've done with this label in order to keep it from bunching up in the center I cut it out I creased it in the center and then I slid it down the center I didn't want it to bunch up I left it connected on the edges but I just took out some of that bulk in the center by making a slit right there. I also cut a couple little extra square pieces that I'm going to use on my card to give me more gluing surface and then hopefully when I put the label on there it'll expand it out further. I don't know how this is going to work so we're going to find out together. Okay, I'm going to begin by gluing on my little extension pieces. I'm going to put this piece down flat. I'm going to hold it down just for a minute while I add this piece. And I don't want to get any stray glue, so I'm being kind of careful, but I'm putting some glue right across that top piece. Now I'm going to take one of the extension pieces and I'm going to add it right there, centered, just like that. And I'm not going over that crease because I don't want to end up with it bunching up in there. So I'm trying to eliminate that bulk. So I'm going to put both pieces on and I'll bring it up closer so you can see it. Okay. Now I'll bring it up so you can see that. I left plenty of space in the center. Okay, now I want to add my little label. So I'm going to lay it back down flat. I'm going to put some glue on this extension piece because I want it to be 
laying out flat. Oops, sorry, I'm a little off camera. I'm just going to glue this piece. And I'm going to put this piece on, lining up the centers. Just like that. I'm going to get this in the center of the card. That's why I wanted to eliminate some of that bulk. That's why I put that split right down the center of that label. Now I'm going to do the other side, glue it down. And you'll notice that I open and close the card a lot of times. And I do that because I want to make sure that each time I add something, it works correctly. So now I'm just going to gently, oh, it looks like my plan's working. I'm just going to close that up gently. I've got one arm that wants to come back this way, but once I get a picture on it, I think it's going to be just fine. All right. So far, so good. Now I want to add this little guy right here. Whoops, I see I have some glue coming through there. I'm going to clean that up a little bit. Okay. Still works great. Right in the center. Now I'm going to put this little guy... And I'm going to do him temporarily, I think, so that I can make sure that he'll still close. Hold on one second. Okay, I put a little piece of temporary adhesive right on him, so I'm going to put him in here, see how he's going to close in the card. So I'm going to add him right there, and I'm going to do my close. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Woohoo! Okay. Whoops, this way. All right. Now I'm going to lift him gently off because I put him on there with the temporary tape. And I'm going to put some glue on the back of him. I'm going to put him on that little piece right there so he can ride up and down. Okay, now he's going to go right there. I'm going to put him at a little bit of an angle. I think that makes him look cute. Okay, glue him down. One more test. Perfection. All right. Now I want to start adding my other little pictures. And I'm going to do just like always and test each one each time. So here we go with this little guy. I'm going to put him, whoops, I want to put him temporarily. Just like that. I'm going to put a little temporary adhesive there. Not very much. I'm not sure that worked. Okay. Let's see. Let's put a little more. Okay, I've got enough there to hold it temporarily. So I'm going to try putting this guy right here. And it's like that. Press him down. Let's see if they close. Here we go. Nope. I've got to move him down farther. Good thing I didn't glue him on. Okay, so now let's try him down here. Okay, now he closes. Mm, I think I can move him down a little bit more. I'm going to move him all the way down like this. And then I might angle him a little bit this way. So now I know that I have to have him down there. I'm going to go ahead and glue it. Put some glue on there. And I'm going to glue him way down here so that I'm sure he closes well. Okay, press that down. I want to glue it to the card, so I'm going to make sure that I've got that up. I have no stray glue on my card, so everything looks neat and clean. So, so far, so good. Let's see what happens now. Oh, perfect. Everybody's closing up in there just the way they're supposed to. Okay, so let's go for the next one. Now, let's see. This little guy hanging out of the corner. Let's put him... Hmm, let's see how that's going to close. I want to put him... Like that. Okay, he can go down here near the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and put him on because I've tested it already. I'm going to put him right here. Press it on into the glue. Make sure it's not glued to my card. When you're making one of these collage pop-ups, you can never test too many times. Okay, right there we've got two of his little selfies attached, so let's see if it's going to be okay. Whoa, I don't know. Nope. Okay, I'm back. I had a couple technical difficulties, but I figured it out. 
I glued this little guy on incorrectly down here and then I tore the arm so I had to reinforce I didn't tear it but it got weaker because of the glue so I put a little reinforcement on there so now I'm ready to glue this little guy on and I'm going to put my glue on right here on the end of this piece I'm going to glue him on right there okay Now, while I was off camera, I did glue this little side guy on, and I did test it. So let's test it one more time. Okay, everything seems to be working just the way I want it. Okay, last one. One more, no more. So I'm going to put this little guy up here. So on these cards, when you're putting things on the arms, you have to make sure that they're opposite of each other. So this one is more to this side. So this little guy over here has to be more over on this side. So I'm going to turn my card upside down. Okay. So now I'm going to glue my little last photo on there. Put a little glue on the end of this arm. I'm going to glue him on there just like that. I'll get the wick, get that straight glue. Make sure he's not glued to the, the card. I'm going to let that set for just a second. I'm going to straighten him up just a little bit, but I think he's okay. Okay. Now, we've got all those cute little guys looking out. Let's give him a test. Hope that everything works. Oh, and it does. Look at that. Perfection. Okay. So that's all great. Now, we have to add the little selfie stick. So now, well, the stick is there, but I have to add the camera. So I'm going to fold him all up, see where that ends up. And I think I'm good to go on that one, because his little selfie stick is going to be just fine. So I'm thinking I like it just about there. So I'm going to cut that little end off right about here. I'm going to, well, let me see. Let's see if that's what I like. Yep, I think that's going to be good. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here. Glue the little cell phone on. Okay. I think that's looking pretty cute. And it closes and opens just as it should. Okay, I have room for a few more decorations, so I'm going to go cut out a few little cute things, and I'll be right back. I'm back with my finished card. I've added a few little embellishments, and I'm going to call it done now. I added the word smile right here. I made another little cell phone with a little star on the corner. Then I added a few more little stars all around the edges. These are the same ones that I used on the front of the card. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you were inspired to make a fun card for yourself. All the products that I've used are listed in the description box below, as well as the instruction videos from Karen Brunniston that shows you how to assemble many of the things that I use today. For now, bye-bye.